Hi, this is the May 12th Scrapping Show. This is Mark the Shark, also known as Sparky. And this video is sponsored by IceHotRentals.ca. And I'm going to do a scrap report today. Um, I wanted to show you the load I got today. It's huge. We'll go back to that in a minute. So right now I want to say a thanks to Freeze Better. 86 I think they are and the scrap and pilot man for lots of inspiration I've only been doing this since October of 2018 so not even a full year and my dad I'll thank my dad right now uh, he got me into scrapping because uh, he's a retired steel worker so he knew all about scrapping already and he'd been trying to get me into it for years and I didn't understand it and I didn't understand it until I got hooked on it in my second week of scrapping. I started scrapping because I needed the money. I was friggin' broke. And uh, on my second week of scrapping, I had an 800 and some odd, 868, $868 trip to the scrapyard. And uh, I found a bucket of tungsten a guy gave me. What was it? A hundred and 116 pounds, I think, at 575 a pound, and a couple snowblowers and a couple ovens, and it was damn near $900, and that hooked me. And today, I thought I better do a video. I haven't been doing many videos lately because just too much drama in my life, trying to get my get time with my son and stuff like that. But things have been going a lot better lately and today's mother's day and i had a great weekend with my son and i get a an email um that i have a washer and dryer combo the the tall thing in the back and that's what i thought i was going for and on i had one other oven to pick up on the way so i had two pickups this oven and the washer dryer combo but on the way to the guy's place, he says, do you take, will you take a couple ovens? I'm like, sure. So then I get there and one of their cabins burnt down. And I'll say thank you to Jeff right now. Um, I wish you a great, great summer. And I hope uh, the water levels stop rising because Lake Nipissing is pretty flooded right now. And uh, they, they had a, a cabin burned down, so, uh, that's why I got uh, one of the ovens and the bathtub. And I don't know if you can see, but this is what I'm so excited about. Copper! And uh, a bad frame is a little bit of weight, even though tin prices have crashed. I guess I'll also thank right now, uh, Tom, I'm not gonna butcher your last name, from the iScrap app, thank you. And I agreed to pick up a fridge while I'm at it. Normally I charge fridges now, but I uh, did that for free. And I pulled out the breaker box from the burnt cabin. Copper. So I, I got fun for the next day, pulling apart the appliances, getting all the wires out of it. process the wires. I do it all. I've been learning pretty quick and having a lot of fun doing it. That's about it. Oh, we'll go to this. Last week I get a call that I have um, a stair lift for free. Check it out. Heavy ass aluminum, and aluminum's not heavy. I think each one of these is 11 pounds. 
and the chair that went with it. I'm gonna take that apart because I think I think I'll get count on, counted on steel on that. That's something I'd like to see, Tom, is if you could do an insight video on the difference between tin and steel for, for the scrapper. Practical information on how I can either determine whether I should put it in my shred pile and not take something like this apart, or if that's definitely worth taking apart for steel, because that's pretty thick. I think that's over a quarter inch, is what one scrapyard told me. And that steel, it's aluminum I believe. So, oh, I got this railing, but I'm thinking I can probably get more for this on Kijiji or eBay or word of mouth just as a heavy steel railing because that's in good shape still um I got one of these water tanks a couple of weeks ago next to a dumpster and I think it probably just needs the new uh bladder so maybe I'll be able to sell it as is it just needs a bladder I took it apart and then kept the pieces while I figure out what to do with it. And I've just been saving up my aluminum for quite a while. This was a gazebo I got last week. All from all the crushed sheds and um, garages from our awful winter up north. We just got pounded like I describe it as a slow motion hurricane of snow, is what we got. Over the course of a few weeks, we got so much snow. Feet and feet and feet and feet of snow every night. And it crushed many sheds, including some damage to my greenhouse. I got this steel wire yesterday. It was in my buddy's yard. Um, the old owner before him just used it as a dump. And buried shit in the yard we hooked this up to his side by side and pulled it out it's got some weight to it so that's another thing uh tom i wonder is this steel or shred i'm pretty sure that's good steel cable that's why i got it separated um aluminum door i'm gonna take apart <clears throat> that chair had a pretty nice motor i think i got it apart already so this is my scrap yard I also sell firewood. I've got an order for 40 cords of wood. And I also rent ice huts. If I can manage to rebuild my sleeper hut that the Ontario government has stolen. In my five day huts. The sleeper hut that's never been slept in, they have still stolen. So I'm gonna scrap and rebuild because I have fun doing it. It's spring. I got a lot of spring cleaning to do. Clean up the yard. My greenhouse in the back needs some hoops. Lots of work to do. So, happy scrapping. Happy Mother's Day. I love you, Mom. I'm working hard. Have a great day.